Hi, I'm Lewis Faulkner, author of The Headhunter, and I'm coming to you from the grimy deck at the back of my house. I wanted to share a little bit with you about the background of this novel. It's my favorite novel, and I'd also like to share with you that Shakespeare, the famous playwright, had an actual son whose name was Hamnet, H-A-M-N-E-T, one alphabetic letter different between his son's real name and the character in the famous play. I think that's for a reason. His son died very young. His father had died years before. And I think Shakespeare was really hurting at the time that play was produced. I think he put all of his angst, all of his feelings, all of his thought, all of his philosophy, I think he put everything he had into that play. And I think it shows. In a similar way, I put everything I had into this novel. I'd been laid off. I didn't have a job. I didn't know I was going to make a payment on this house. I didn't know I was going to support my family. I asked God, to please help me. I don't know what I'm going to do. I was in a bad place. I was depressed, severely depressed. I didn't know how I was going to make it. And I put all that angst, all that energy, all that passion, all that need for revenge into this book. And I think it shows. I think you'll love it if you get it and you read it. I want to know what you think if you read it. Please email me. But this book came from a lot of pain. And it's basically that simple story that produced this work. You might ask the question, would Shakespeare have considered the product of the play Hamlet worth the death of his son? I doubt it. Would you ask me years later, like my wife did, is this book worth the pain and suffering that you went through during that time period for this work to be produced? And I think if you're an artist with a capital A, the pain that you go through is sometimes channeled into your work. And sometimes that's your best work. This is my favorite book. That's the story behind it. I hope you read it, and I hope you like it. I'd really like to know what you think. But this is why I love this book so much. Thank you. We'll see you next time.